grotesque caterpillar emerges from its cocoon, transformed into a butterfly. Or a moth. An equally disgusting little creature, but more drab in appearance. Moths. Oh, dear. I thought you loved all living things, besides Wayne. I have a slight dislike for moths, because... You have something to tell the class? Moths eat knitting. Oh, yes, indeed. In a warm, dark place with plenty of wool, those oldies critters can breed like wildfire. Class dismissed. Everybody freeze! I need to give out invitations to my birthday party. First, Wayne. Then everybody else. Pink stink. We look forward to seeing you. Presents not required, but eagerly anticipated. <laughs> Give back my party invitation. I need to eat it. Wayne. But I didn't get one. Oh, well. Never mind. No, no, no. I'm sure it was an oversight. We've all been invited to Wendy's party. I'll call Mrs. Winkle to RSVP. <laughs> Tell Mr. Wonderful he can be my official escort. <laughs> We'll have to get something very special for her presents. And something very special to wear. Do the boys need their teeth straightened? Wayne, what's wrong? Don't you want your ice cream? It's bad for you. No, I'm not hungry. Oh, I think you're going to make a very special, special escort. <sighs> <sighs> You both look so clean and fresh. I can almost smell the salt air, free of smog and airborne viruses. Yeehaw! Genuine cobra skin boots, tooled leather vest, and silver buckle and spurs. A vision of frontier manliness. Oh, and look what I got at the toy store next to the Western Wear Shop. That takes care of Wayne's present. Uh. Are you kidding? That dollhouse probably cost more than our house house. We need to impress. After all, Mr. Winkle is your father's boss. This is an investment in our future. I hate the future. I don't want to invest in it. Yeah, I thought the future was all bright and shiny. This stuff is sick. All right, that's enough. This is a rare opportunity. We've been invited right into the Winkles' private family home, and I expect you both to start playing for Team Cramp. <laughs> that's an order. I suppose I could knit Wendy a sweater. Something homemade. Oh, a labor of love. Oh, Lucian, it's perfect. We must really like her. No way, Mari. I'm knitting an environmental message into this sweater. And once we've infiltrated the home of the Grand Polluter, we can load it with conservationist literature, too. Okay. Good. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Shine. It's six o'clock and it's
it's party day. We only have nine hours to get ready. <sighs> Dang, that is one heavy dollhouse. Dad, I can't find my present. I left it in my room and it's gone. Here. I was keeping it warm for you. What? Hurry up and get dressed, you two. It's almost time to go. Oh, Wayne, you make a scrumptious sailor. You, on the other hand, look like a dolt. Thanks. I know. Uh, uh, thank you so much uh, for inviting us, uh, 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 Mr. Winkle. <laughs> Cut the small talk, Cramp. Sorry. <laughs> And stop touching everything. I hate to lose a set of keys in this house. It's amazing. You can't even see these leaflets once you put them down. It's a form of domestic camouflage. I'll cherish these moments forever. I'll cherish that cake right now. Oops, I've ruined it. You have a manly appetite. Security. <laughs> Greetings, loyal guests. <gasps> hey, you and Mrs. Cramp are wearing the same dress. I'm sorry, I... Mrs. Cramp, I didn't know you had such impeccable taste. Yes, and Mr. Cramp has a belt buckle just the right amount smaller than mine. I think we're making a good impression. Daddy, I want to open my presents now. A puppy princess with tiara. Boring. <sighs> Ooh, a beauty salon. Yawn. From Wayne. and modern sculpture combined. I just love it! Huh? Looks like an old engine block to me. <laughs> but if my little butter knife likes it, that's all that matters. That one's from Lucian. It's the swamp! <laughs> I carry in my purse. Oh, looky! Those moths done uncovered my ugly chair. Oh! It was supposed to be covered. Never again. Hey! I just found this pro swamp leaflet on the floor! This was nothing but a vicious act of home textile terrorism! Oh. I bet Lucian Crab did it! He's a nature lover! Well, uh, I planted the pamphlets, but I would never use moth violence or exploit any living creature to get my point across. It was me! <gasps> Don't you just hate me now? No, Wayne. You knew Lucian was knitting me an ugly sweater that would upset me, so you destroyed it. Oh, Wayne, I think I love you more than ever. Oh, brother. Okay, naked people. Party's over. Get out of my house. Here. Please, take one. The least you could do is read it. Or use them to cover up embarrassing nakedness. You can stay and eat cake, sugar brute. I'd rather eat moth droppings. <laughs>